I bought my very first silver in 1981. And I'm going to tell you what happened next. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching Yankee Stacking. I'm really excited about this video because recently I, I came across a couple receipts from back almost four decades ago when I was a teenager, 15, 16, and I bought my very first silver. I was with my dad and I can remember going to this coin shop, Del Greco Coins. Now they had a, um, a, a Quincy uh, um, a coin shop. Um, I don't think we went to Quincy. There was another coin shop. I'm trying to remember exactly where it was. I think they're in, um, in Weymouth right now. Uh, they actually have changed their name uh, to another, uh, I think it's called Liberty Coins or something else. But back then, back in the 80s, early 80s, 1981 and uh, 82, which is the date, really hard to see it there, but it's uh, August 28th, 1982. Okay. Um, and I, I just found these receipts and it was like, this is so cool to see what prices were like, what, what I paid for the dimes. I'm going to get into that in just a little while, but it's just, you know, a trip down memory lane for me. Um, again, it's even fun to see my handwriting back when Yankee was a teenager. It's a lot less messy. Oh, anyway, so um, what I did, and I think I figured this whole thing out because I have two receipts here. Um, this one actually has some personal information on it, so I folded it over. But um, this is kind of interesting. So the first time I bought any silver, they were dimes. Uh, it was, I think I just bought six dimes. Uh, I don't know what the price was. I don't know when I bought them, but it was around 1981. But I do know right after that, um, I got dimes in April of 1981 and then August 1981, then October 1st, 1981, and then August 28th, 1982, which is the receipts that I have. So I think what I did is I I just was buying it and not writing anything down until <laughs> until I was 16. And I went, wait a minute, let me go back and actually write in what I bought and how much it were and uh, how much you know silver was face and, and how many dimes I bought. So that's kind of the, the lay of the land here. I, I got into some you know calculations here, <laughs> which is kind of fun to see how much I was figuring this thing out back then. Um, but just a, just a little history, my dad, had watched silver uh, just explode in in value during uh, the late 70s, back when the um, uh, the Hunt brothers were trying to corner the market on silver. The price of silver spot had broken $35 an ounce. And in today's money, okay, if you would adjust it for inflation, that's like $120 an ounce. Okay, that that's a lot. My dad was like, whoa. I need to buy some of this stuff. So after the price dropped dramatically back down, uh, you know, into the teens, um, he decided to to get into it. Now he loved dimes. Actually, I think he still does too. He's 88 years old at the time of this uh, video, but uh, he he just loved dimes. Um, he thought it was probably the more liquid of the constitutional silver or junk silver, as some people call it. So uh, definitely. Dimes were uh, what we looked for, what he tried to buy. Now, he didn't call it stacking back then. It was, uh, you know, collecting or maybe hoarding of silver. But uh, yeah, it, we call it stacking now. And he also liked, he liked the design of the, the Mercury, but he wanted to collect the Rosies, the Roosevelt's. And he told me it was because of the wear. He said, these are really, really nice and they're beautiful design, but you know, they've been circulated more. So you're gonna be losing more and more of the silver. And if you do put this on a scale, and I'm not gonna do that right now, most of these Mercury's weigh less than the corresponding Rosies. They just do, you lose silver. Um, so he advocated getting the Rosies, but we would get a mix, all right? Mostly Rosies, some Mercs and uh, try to get the best ones. So I listened to my dad. I remember going 
to Del Greco. And, you know, I even have a bag, I think, still. Oh, maybe I get rid of it. I don't know. I had a, 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 a burlap bag. I remember him putting the, the silver into the bag. And I thought this was so cool. He taught me, you know, to look at the edge. And you can see the difference between the silver. It's stuff that we all know now. But as a kid, I was hooked. And then I would, on the way back, swing by the library and track the price of silver. No internet, no way to get it, you know, at your on your your cell phone like that. You know, it's it, it was a different day and age. You had to, you know, go to the library, get a hold of the New York Times, and I looked. Um, I forget, you know, halfway through the the newspaper, there was a section for the Handy and Harmon spot price of silver, and I would track it and put it on a graph, and it was just, you know, fun for me to invest at such a young age. Anyway. At 15 years old and 16 years old, I was enthralled at the thought of making money. But what happened? <laughs> well, soon after I purchased these dimes, the uh, price dropped. And uh, I was rather concerned what was going on. <laughs> I questioned whether or not I really should be you know, doing this. Why couldn't it make crazy highs like it did back in the late 70s? Wh what was going on? I, I didn't get it. And it was hard to go for years seeing it relatively flat. And in fact, I didn't get back into stacking again, silver at least, until 2018. It took me that long to start you know, picking up American silver eagles and uh, other um, silver bullion. But... I learned a lot. And in fact, in reviewing uh, these receipts, I learned something else. I learned that I didn't do a very good job at buying these dimes and I spent way too much. So let's take a look at this a little bit more carefully. So back in uh, April, uh, 1981, uh, the price, I say 10 to one, meaning uh, $10 for $1 face, okay? Uh, and then August, it was 9 to 1. And then in October of that year, 81, it was uh, nine, 9 and a quarter uh, for a dollar face. Uh, but then this one right here is when I bought the most. And it was also the least, <laughs> the least expensive. I remember uh, my dad talking to me about dollar cost averaging, right? And he said, as the price goes down, we can get more. You know, Yankee, do you want to go with me and, and, and get some more dimes? I'm like, yeah, okay. I was kind of worried a little bit about the price going down, but I said, you're right, you're right. I, I, I can buy more, right? So I went, and this is again, August 28th. That's a Saturday uh, in, in 1982. And it was seven and a half for $1 face. If you look over here, you'll see I bought $1 face and it was $7.50. For some reason... On that same exact day, I, uh, oh, this is kind of cool too. I'll, I'll talk about that in a second. I got 10 more uh, dollars face at $750. So $75. So total, we're looking at uh, $82.50, right? Is that right? Uh, yes, $82.50. Back on August 27th, that Friday uh, in 1982, the spot price of silver was $8.25. So using my one of my favorite uh, sites, coinapps.com, if you plug in 110 dimes, Roosevelt's I'll put in for this uh, purpose, at $8.25 spot price, the total silver value, not including wear, is $65.00 and 65 cents. I spent $82 and 50 cents. That's about a 25% markup. That's not really good. Okay. So maybe it was my, you know, being a noob, my, my, my dad, not really knowing what a good price is, but 25%. That's a lot. In fact, if you compare that to say, you know, uh, let's say JM Bullion, right? I'm going to pull this up. It was uh, a $5 tube of 90% silver rosies is $100. So 110 90% silver Roosevelt dimes 
is like $210. Over what the spot price is today, it's about a 12 and a 13% markup. About half the markup of what I spent back in 1982. Well, you know, live and learn, right? It was kind of expensive, but it was my first foray into you know, junk silver, and I was pretty excited at the time. I was so excited that I also wrote down right here all the silver that I had at that time. You know, so all of them, all the dimes that I had gotten were 216. Uh, most of them bought uh, the uh, war, wartime Jefferson nickels, uh, five of them uh, silver Kennedy half, silver Barber half. Silver quarters. Uh, what is that? Miscellaneous? I don't know. I, I must have had a bunch of little bits of silver. My, uh, Spanish piece, Morgan silver dollar, Booker T. Washington, Bermuda crown, and a mint Kennedy half. So it wasn't much, but I had gotten these, a lot of these from, you know, gifts from others, from my grandfather. A lot of this is from him. And I had calculated I had 19.27296 ounces, less than 20 ounces as a teen. So all you teenagers out there that may be watching this, uh, be you know encouraged. I had 19 ounces and I was pretty jacked back then. Anyways, I, I hope you enjoyed this. This is 110 silver dimes right here. And before you ask me, I don't know if these were the dimes that I bought back then in the early 80s at Del Greco coins. I, I can only assume that some of them are because I don't get rid of my silver. So anyways, thank you so much for watching this fun little video. I hope you enjoyed it. Tell me some of your memories of stacking, maybe when you were a kid, in the comments below. And as always, I hope your day is A-OK.